individual gate is like a fingerprint. It's, it's unique to that individual. And so making changes is very hard to do. And a lot of times, like I've heard, I've seen clinicians get turned off by just the word gate analysis because they think that automatically means we're trying to manipulate somebody's gait, right? But that's not what it's about. It's more about, again, the pieces of the puzzle. It's completing like, what is the body experiencing while we're running and how can we like see that in a concrete way and then just see what happens over time. Because we also don't know, like this could, maybe the runner has always ran with this asymmetrical pattern, you know? And even when they're healthy, we see that it's still there, but we don't know. Maybe that's just not, maybe we didn't complete rehab also. And it's like, there's a missing component there. So it's just like, all of this is very complicated. There's lots of pieces. This is a small part of that.